Hi guys, I haven't posted in a while, but uh, just thought I'd uh, make one while I'm in quarantine, quarantine teaching. Uh, as uh, some of you know, I'm a teacher and uh, having to teach online, so I call it quarantine teaching. Anyway, uh, this is the hair that I had the that I had installed in my last video, and uh, it's still looking pretty good. Um, I'm almost on three months with it now. Uh, uh, May 6th will be three months. And so it's still hanging in there, still looking good. I just finished some yoga in my living room. Uh, I think it does well for my body. I have a bad, I've had some back problems in my life. And uh, so I do a lot of yoga to keep myself straight, uh, st strong and limber. And um, I, I recommend it very highly. Uh, I know a lot of people think it's kind of a womanly thing, but uh, you know what? I do what's good for my body, and I know that yoga is good for my body. Uh, so that's good. So I hope you all are uh, doing well on your uh, during your quarantine. Um, you know, this isn't fun, and it's not easy, but uh, doing things that are good for us is a good thing, like yoga, exercising, walking, biking, uh, just keeping ourselves uh, up and, you know, continuing to grow. Uh, I ask, uh, you know, uh, as a school, as a middle school, we ask our students to do, on Fridays, we ask them to do an enrichment activity, you know, learning to cook something, learning to do something they're interested in, something they may have been interested in, learning a, a card trick, or um, how to paint, or, you know, something like that, something they may have been interested in and, and, and really haven't had the time or uh, made the effort to really look into it, and so we are asking them on Fridays to just do that. Uh, really just kind of enrich themselves and I'm asking you to do that too you know this isn't really about hair today this is really just about encouraging each other encouraging others um, along the way the other thing I do guys is I read the Bible and uh, I know a lot of you maybe don't uh, maybe you're you don't believe in God or maybe you don't believe in Jesus or you know whatever it may be and I'm not I'm not trying to sell a religion here uh, but I do read the Bible um, it's full of great wisdom and as a historian, I know that it is the most well-documented book in the history of man. Um, and uh, for that reason, it's a true thing. And uh, it's been proven time and time again. It continues to be proved uh, that the things that are in the Bible were real. The kings that were in the Bible, King David, King Solomon, these kings were real people. And the people in the Bible were real people. And, uh, you know, the wisdom that comes out of the Bible, that comes out of uh, Christ... Um, and following Christ is so important to our lives. And even if you don't believe in Jesus, maybe you believe in, in Buddha or um, Hinduism or um, Allah or you know anything like that. And and for for me, I, I believe in Christ, and I believe that Christ is the way. The Bible says that. But spiritually, we need to keep ourselves going forward as well. And that's really what I want to say. Um, as much as I love God, as much as I love Jesus, as much as I would love you to be my brother or my sister uh, in Christ, um, I also want you to be spiritual um, and take care of yourselves. So guys, that, that's what this is really about today, is just taking care of yourself, doing good things for your body, not overeating. That's one thing, I, you know, food is my downfall. Uh, I love to eat, I love to cook, I love to cook good food. And I love to eat good food. And I, when I say good food, I mean food with real butter and real cream and real noodles and, and real meat and, you know, all that good stuff. When it comes together, it just blends in your mouth and it's so tasty. So, you know, I try to not overeat during this time because I certainly am not moving as much as I was. You can tell that it's morning. I just finished yoga. My hair's kind of a, a mess here. But... You know, a lot of people wonder, you know, can you exercise with the hair piece? Can you ex can you sleep with it on? All that stuff. Of course you can. You can do everything you, you can. I'm about to take a shower. And so you can do anything. I have a pool as well. I haven't been in the pool yet because it's still a little too chilly to open the pool. Um, but I plan on swimming this summer. And, and as long as it holds on, I don't see why not. I've tried some different uh, adhesives. Um, I've tried, uh, well, I can show you. I've tried... Uh, the Walker Ultra Hold. Uh, that seems to do really good. It's clear. Uh, it's kind of acrylic. Uh, it holds really well. It's really super sticky and it's really super messy. Um, and so uh, I've gone back to trying uh, the Ghost Bond Platinum. 
and that's this one. It's a white bond, and you put on about four coats of this. It takes takes a little while. You know, it's not terribly long. Once you get used to doing it, it goes by quickly. And the other thing you really absolutely have to have is uh, uh, some uh, scalp protector. This one's from MHE Dome Protect. Um, and the scalp protector, what that does is it keeps the oils and the sweat and everything from loosening up uh, the bond of the glue. Um, and so if you have that glue, I tried the ghost bond before and I didn't feel like it really worked for me, but this time it's been really holding and I, I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's just a different time of year. You know, I don't know, but it, um, I'm really liking it because it's much easier to use than the Ultra Hold, than the Walker Ultra Hold. Um, and, uh, uh, but, uh, cause it goes on smooth, more smoothly. I have more control of it and where I put it and how it goes on. Um, so, you know, I really, I recommend that one. And I also recommend the ultra hold too for quick touch-ups. It's really easy to use that cause it's super sticky. So you just put a little bit on there and glue it down quick. You can see that, uh, my P, you know, it's kind of lifting up here. Um, and that's just from, you know, it's tomorrow's my redo day anyway. So, uh, that's happening, but you can do anything with this thing on and um, You know, it's going I, I love it. My kids love it. My, my daughter says I don't even think I remember what you look like without hair And I, I love hearing that, you know, and I think my students are used to it and you know and, and everything and so it's it's been good and so I really uh, Again, I say guys if you're thinking about doing this do it 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 you know You know things like hair club. I think hair club Hair Club is kind of expensive, I thought, but there are ways to do it. Uh, there are other groups out there, other places to do it. MHE isn't the only one, uh, but I've gotten uh, solid information from Curtis, who runs MHE. Um, the hair I've gotten, the first one I got, uh, and this one have been really good. I got a brand new one right before we had to go into quarantine. I probably was the last one to get one before then. And uh, I actually, um, I'm going to try uh, the, the new skin or the, the thin skin uh, poly, uh, the 0.03, I think it is, thickness. Um, and so I'm going to try that, but I've got to wait until I can, you know, get it cut in. So I'm hoping this will last until then. It's a, It's been thinned out a lot now, um, but it, it looks good. I mean, I really, I mean, it looks, I, I'm still liking it and uh, it looks good. So it's hanging in there. Um, I love kind of playing with it. It's nice to have hair to just do stuff with and again and, and do it. So it's, it, guys, it, 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 it really is worth it, you know. I wouldn't say that for me it's been a confidence boost because I don't think I had a confidence problem because I was bald. I just like the way I look, though. And now uh, I've been growing my corn beard, uh, you know, not shaving, just to, through, the, uh, through the length of however long we have to be here. And we just found out, I live in Minnesota, we just found out we're going to be here um, you know, we're not going back to school, uh, which is kind of sad. My son is graduating this year. And so that's been really hard. Um, but, and it's hard not to see my students, you know, cause I, I really enjoy them. Uh, you know, but I do see them, you know, in, on uh, zoom on face or not Facebook, but on zoom on the computer, um, you know, teaching class and, you know, it's, it's not quite the same though. Um, and a lot of them, I think, are struggling with this because they really like each other as well. And I think they like their teachers. And it's hard for all of us. You know, as a teacher, I got into teaching because I love working with kids. And uh, kids energize me. And uh, not being there, uh, I have less energy. So it's, it's, that's hard. So, you know, this is hard for everybody, I think. And, you know, I'm thankful that I have a job. I'm thankful that things are, are okay for me and my family we're we're not sick and we're doing well and we have toilet paper and <laughs> you know i i uh i don't really get that but <laughs> but uh, at least we have some and uh you know we're not we're not you know we're doing okay so i think that's you know and, and I, we've had some great time together and i'm really enjoying that and i think when it's over i, I, I we may miss it so uh, hang in there, guys. Uh, that we will get through this, and um, and uh, I just encourage you to uh, think physically, to take care of your body, uh, think mentally, spiritually, take care of your heart, your mind, and your soul, um, and uh, really do those things, and just keep moving forward, and encourage other people. Reach out to your friends. Reach out to the older folks, um, you know, and just uh, really check in on them. And do things for others if you can, because that usually makes me feel better. 
as well. So you guys have a, have a great day. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you again, hopefully soon.